Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is OneSkill, and some time ago I have asked you to vote for my next video tutorial. And as I can see from the results, custom columns for charts in PowerPoint is the topic that you are most interested in currently. So you know what? That's what we're going to do today: custom column charts in PowerPoint. And before we are getting into the details, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of my Patreons, for all of my fans who are supporting me on Patreon.com. So thank you Brad, thank you Krista, Parmanent, Pelek, Philip and Thomas. Thank you very much for supporting me and helping me to find something that I never thought possible in PowerPoint. You know, I push the limits of what's possible, I push the limits of my creativity and all of that thanks to you guys and if anyone else of you my dear friends would like to join to support me on patreon please do visit patreon.com slash one skill you'll find lots of rewards depending on the level of support you choose you can become one skill fan one skill silver fan gold fan or even diamond fans so please visit one patreon.com slash one skill and see what it's all about so let's get back to our tutorial so let's say you have a pretty basic looking bar chart, something like this. But you would like your chart to look something like this. Or something like this. Or even maybe something like this. So this video is all about making your chart look juicy, attractive and fresh. And before we, we get into the details, I think a good place to start is to actually check out the designs chart designs used by the most popular and professional templates in the world currently just to get some feeling you know just to get some inspiration what kind of design trends are used to spice those charts up and i think a good place to check out what kind of graph graph designs are currently used is a place called envato market okay let's go to graphic uh, river Let's click on presentations, PowerPoint templates. Let's sort those PowerPoint templates according to best sellers. Any date. Okay, let's for example check out this uh, PowerPoint template. So it's a business plan PowerPoint template by Design District. And let's see what kind of chart designs this template has. Maybe easier would be for me just to click on it. And yeah, let's just uh, quickly find those charts. Okay, so as you can see, this template is using these, uh, these kind of custom uh, triangles. And as I can see, they are transparent and overlapping. So yeah, let's copy this copy this slide and paste it into our PowerPoint so we will we will do our best to create something something similar let me just paste it okay now let's get back to Envato market and let's check out some uh, other PowerPoint templates okay maybe let's uh, look into this one more Tegua, I guess, Motegua. So this one is the most popular template currently. 20,685 sales. So pretty, pretty a lot of sales. Pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty much. So this one is, yeah, Moteg Motegua, <laughs> multi-purpose PowerPoint template by Jet Fabric. So let's, uh, Let's see how the charts are looking in this one. Okay, so here are the slides with the charts. By the way, if you will be interested in any of these templates that we're currently you know, checking out, so I'll put all of the download links in the video description so you can check them out. So I think this one, with the belly shape looks pretty pretty interesting so let's copy it and let's paste it into our powerpoint so we will do our best to try to do something similar okay and let's 
let's dig into one more uh, yeah PowerPoint template for example for example let's check out this one Eureka Eureka please open up Eureka minimal PowerPoint template so by jet fabric again so so this one is uh, I would say pretty 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 popular creator okay so once again let's open up the slides and let's find the slide with the graphs okay so this chart looks uh, looks pretty interesting as you can see these are triangles but you know they're sharp sharp triangles a little bit transparent and overlapping each other so let's copy this one as well and paste it to our PowerPoint so that we can we can try to do to do it to do it <laughs> that we can try to do it I guess to, to do something similar okay so now we have three I would say I would say one of the most popular chart designs in the world currently because we have selected these designs from the most popular templates currently in the world I guess at least from Envato market website and yeah as always you can follow all of the shortcuts that i'm doing on my keyboard just look oops <laughs> just look at the top uh, left corner of the slide so you will see everything that i do with my keyboard okay so let's get started with this first example from business from the let me let me remember which which powerpoint business plan yeah this is business plan PowerPoint template okay so yes let's insert a fresh blank new slide and let's just go to insert select chart and choose what type what type <laughs> what kind of type uh, of chart you would like to insert so in this case let's choose column charts so this bar chart let's click on ok and powerpoint should automatically generate a chart for us yep something like this and as you can see a, a excel window opens up uh, as well automatically so we can actually edit the data so I think we can uh, straight away do some uh, customization for for the data I guess we don't need uh, three columns for each of the categories so let's just leave one column for each of categories yep so how should we do it I guess at the at the, at the blah, blah, blah. let's actually delete all of these three categories the lead okay something like uh, this so yeah let's let's give it a name sales I guess let's, let's give it a name sales and here let's actually type some you know some years for example 2013 2014 whoops 3000 <laughs> something like this and maybe something like this yep and let's add some numbers five or i don't know yeah five maybe seven four maybe three and a half and two okay so yeah so let's say that we're whoops let's get back to our powerpoint so let's say that we're done with the you know editing the the exact data if you would like to adjust the data in your chart so you can always select your chart and yeah just go to design tab and select edit data and uh, excel will pop out and you can you know edit okay so let's take a look again at at this this one 
so as you can see this chart looks pretty pretty clean i mean uh, no no horizontal lines uh, no axis they have only these labels for the years and uh, data labels for each of the column charts so i guess the first step would be to clean our chart up so it looks much cleaner uh, yep so we can select our chart go to design click on add chart element so we would actually remove some of the chart elements so i would like to go to uh, grid lines and actually uncheck primary uh, major horizontal so now as you can see these horizontal lines are gone and next i guess we can remove the this axis so our chart looks much more cleaner let's go to axis and unclick primary vertical okay and let me <laughs> let me unclick primary horizontal as well let me just see what will happen okay something like this and i guess we can delete chart title for now i guess access title as well sales as well so we are only left with the yeah with the with the names of the years so 2013 2014 15 16 and 17 i guess we can yeah expand this uh this box so it corresponds to each column something like this and of course we can increase the size of of our of these you know years so we can see them better i guess let's make them 20. can even make them bold i guess but yeah let's leave it like that okie dokie so yeah we have cleaned up our chart uh, let's see once again so yeah they have years and they have uh, that labels but strange that everywhere is 800 <laughs> i guess if this is 800 this would should be 600 maybe this one 900 <laughs> something something fishy about this one okay so yep let's just uh, align it to slide i guess okay uh, yep something like this okay so now the big secret how do you actually change uh, the shape of the your column so now you have you here you have a rectangle and you want it to look like a triangle so let me show you how easy it is to actually change the shape of any of your columns so first of all you just create a shape that that you want so for example just go to shapes triangles draw a triangle yeah something like this uh, you have to format your triangle the way you want it to look so let's uh, remove the outline let's maybe add a gradient so format shape let's go to gradient oh, funny gradient over here so let me change it to blue color blue color at the top blue color here at the bottom as well and let me just make it transparent like this okay something like this okay and now all we have to do is just select this triangle copy it ctrl c now we just select this first uh, rectangle and hit ctrl v skadoosh ladies and gentlemen that's how it works this way I can select each of those uh, uh, bars and I can paste my triangle on top of all of those bars. And let me just go a couple of steps back. So uh, uh, in this example you can see that these triangles were actually overlapping a little bit. So if I would just uh, paste my uh, triangle. so yeah those uh, triangles are separated so now let me show you how you can make those triangles overlap each other so again just select your chart and yeah just click on any of those uh, triangles 
and you will find here on the right side of your screen series overlap so just play with this uh, handle whoop and as you can see you can <laughs> You can overlap them 100%, but yeah, of course, leave some space. So let's leave it maybe at uh, something like this, like 40%. And now we can as well adjust our, uh, you know, this text box with the, with the years. And of course, you, I guess you would like to make your triangles uh, with different colors. So maybe, you know, 2000. 13 with some green color and, and so on so just uh, make more of those triangles so let's make them one one two three four five so let's make five triangles over here and yes let's just change the color for this one so yeah this was blue and let's make this one uh, maybe this color and this and just make sure if you would like your triangles to be transparent on one of the ends. So just make a, on your gradient stops, select one of the stops and make it uh, fully transparent. Just make sure that uh, you set them correctly. Yeah, something like this. So now if I would copy this triangle, I would paste it on this, uh, you know, column. Now we would have a different color. So let me quickly change the colors for the rest of the triangles and apply these triangles to our column. Okay, so now I have created uh, the design of all of my colors that I would like to use in my chart. Now I just select each of those triangles and I paste them, paste them into my chart. Easy peasy lemon squeezy ladies and gentlemen. And I guess we can play with the gap width. I guess we can make our chart uh, thicker, I guess. Yep, something like this. So that's the big secret ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is uh, create a shape that you want it can be anything actually now we will go to the rest of the shapes and and i will show you how you can create these kind of shapes and yeah just create your shape and copy it select your bar or column i guess and paste it and you will get your you know design your custom design and what's cool about this uh, method is that you can always uh, edit you know the I mean the values the exact values in the chart and actually yeah I forgot to put these data labels that labels on top of the triangles so let me show you how you can do exactly just that so yeah select your chart go to design add chart elements find data labels and for this example let's choose outside end so as you can see, PowerPoint inserted these data labels, but they look pretty, pretty very small, <laughs> pretty very small. So for the years we have used Open Sans Light 20. So yeah, we can use the same 20, or maybe we can even use a lot of black. Maybe let's use 50. <laughs> I don't know if, if that's not too much, but Okay, let's let's make some 40. And uh, can I copy the style to the rest? Uh, let me try with the, oh yes. And one shortcut to quickly copy the style of one element and paste it to the other is select the first element, Control Shift C, and now select the other element, Control Shift V. And this way you can quickly paste the style. So this is one of my favorite shortcuts in PowerPoint. And yes, let's check it out on full screen. So it looks, yeah, I guess let's, <laughs> let's leave it at Open Sans 20 for now. Okay, and if you're wondering 
how you can add a chart title so of course one way to add a chart title you can go to design select your chart and go to design add element access titles and choose I mean chart title and choose above the chart and here you can add your chart title so I guess we have uh, deleted it previously just to make our chart look uh, nice and clear but yeah now i just show you if you want to set it so how, how you can set it let's make it uh, 40 let's add some spacing between the letters sales and actually for the years maybe for the years we can make it that to black mm, now it looks really delicious yep and yeah let's actually let's actually edit our the data <laughs> data let's actually edit our data a little bit let's uh, let's make it uh, for example 2000 because you know we are talking about sales so let's make it 2000 and 2014 let's let's say our sales dropped a little bit and 2015 we have increase in sales so maybe 2700 in 2016 again a small drop 2000 whoops uh, 2500 and let's say on 2017 we have kaboom you know we have a major increase in sales so maybe for example let's put it to 4200 okay something like this beautiful now it looks more more like some kind of sales you know data beautiful so yeah that's the big secret and let me let me actually go to the next example so you might say that okay one skill it was easy with the triangles because you know you just can go to insert shapes and you can find the triangles so it's pretty easy but what about this funny looking shape when you go to shapes you won't find this belly shape you know you have to do it yourself and actually when I first saw this kind of shape I was wondering how I can create it in PowerPoint and let's insert uh, let's actually duplicate this slide that we have already done let me uh, reduce the size of these uh, triangles we will actually um, use the formatting of these uh, triangles when we will create these uh, belly shape uh, shapes belly shapes okay so the big secret how to create this belly shape so actually you have to insert a triangle <laughs> insert a triangle and now what you have to do of course you can format it so let's just uh, format it like this and now you select it right click on it and choose edit points so you can see three points so let's select this top point and now you will see two handles you know this one on the right side and this one on the left side and i guess you can already see <laughs> where i'm going with this so basically you just uh, modify the handles of this uh, top point and you get a belly shape <laughs> pretty simple and as you can see these shapes they are a little bit you know thinner at the top so i guess to achieve the same effect we just have to reduce the width of this uh, handle something like this and let's do the same at, uh, at the right side and we have this uh, belly shape okay so actually now we can create again five of these belly shapes so two and three four five okay so now let's uh, format this one like this this one like this this one like this and the last belly shape as well like this and now as previously we select this shape that we want then we select the column that we want to change and Ctrl V to paste and boom we get our uh, sorry for saying boom only crazy Russian hacker has the right to say boom I guess I say skadoosh <laughs> my favorite you know word to say when something happens I guess is skadoosh Kung Fu Panda said skadoosh 
in one of the Kung Fu Panda movies, if you have ever seen Kung Fu Panda movie. Yep, something like this. And again, what's uh, what's cool about it is that you can edit your data and and these um, you know columns will change correspondingly to your data beautifully beautifully <laughs> beautifully done Be beautiful okay and yeah as you can see in this example in this in, in this Mon Motegua PowerPoint template this uh, shape is uh, is actually made out of two shapes so as you, as you can see this color is lighter this is more dark color so you could actually create this if you would really like this, uh, you know, this kind of effect. Because you know, this is one solid color and here you have two kind of colors. So to do that, you would actually have to, to divide this shape into two parts. So let me quickly show it to you how it can be done. Let's uh, insert a, a rectangle. Oops, something like this whoops so let's uh, let's make sure it covers the whole belly chart I mean belly shape so now select belly shape and this uh, rectangle go to format merge shapes and choose subtract yep subtract and uh, yeah let's uh, duplicate it let's uh, rotate it horizontally let's join these two shapes and yes now you have two different uh, parts of the belly shape and you can you know apply different styles to one side and different uh, style to the other whoops maybe something like this okay so yeah it would be something like this we can actually use the same colors let me just uh, cut this one paste it over here uh, let's group this for now let's reduce it a little bit okay and group it and we can actually color pick the same exact colors from this from this uh, chart with the help of the eyedropper tool and this way you have created a a shape you know that you can reuse so let me do one more Okay, just like that, okay? And now if we would go back to our um, chart, so you just select this shape, copy, and you just paste it. And here you go. And this way you can create these kind of, you know, double color belly shapes, okay? And now let's uh, go to our last example from the Eureka template with these uh, triangles but they are sharp triangles so let's uh, let's uh, duplicate uh, this slide let's put it down here and uh, yeah so if we want our uh, column to look like this so we it means that we have to create a shape that looks like this <laughs> and uh, yeah i guess as you can as you can anticipate we again we will ha have to create a triangle and adjust its uh, points let's go to insert go to shapes let's draw a triangle and let's fill it with this uh, gradient okay edit points now all we have to do is I guess select this uh, this point let's see what kind of effect do we get <laughs> it's a pretty 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 funny <laughs> pretty funny shape actually uh, actually I, I have created the shape in the in the one skill slide builder let me open up the one skill slide builder i have it somewhere over here uh, let's go to infographics i mean uh, charts and i have actually created this shape 
And actually, I think the way I did it, it was I created a triangle, then I inserted two uh, circles, one like this, and one like this, and then I just uh, sub subtracted these circles from the rectangle, and this is uh, the shape that, that I got. So for the, you know, to make this uh, video quicker, let me just copy this these shapes that I have already created previously. Let's get back to our our presentation. And uh, let's paste these uh, shapes. And yeah, now let's just, we can delete these triangles, we don't need them. Let's put our shapes right here. Oops. Yep, and now we just copy each of them and paste them. Simple as that. Beautiful. Let's compare it to this one. So I guess I guess we can make the overlapping even bigger. Let's uh, go to format data series, series overlap. Let's try, whoops, too much. Maybe something like this and gap width. Maybe increase the gap width. Oops. Yes, so too much. Okay, something like this. So looks looks beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, so that was the big secret. Uh, so today you have learned how to create a custom column charts so basically with this uh, semi-transparent uh, triangles you have learned how to create custom belly charts and you have learned how to create these spiky uh, triangle charts so thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen i will put all of these uh, shapes that you can use for your uh, custom column charts in the one scale slide builder Actually, these are some funny shapes as well that I have created. <laughs> Let me quickly show you how you can use them. So for example, here is a pen, pencil. Let's uh, go to our, uh, to our presentation. Let's paint, paste this pencil somewhere here. So we have the pencil and let's apply the pencil to every, whoops. <laughs> I think I have to adjust uh, just uh, the gap width, yeah, something like this. And let's reduce the series overlap. Okay, something like this. Okay, now we can uh, paste this pencil to each of the columns. <laughs> and this way you can have a pencil chart. So. That's, that's, you know, that's amazing. And you can actually paste pictures. I actually did a lightsaber, lightsaber um, chart. So if you have a picture of lightsaber, so you can just paste it to every column and you will get a lightsaber, uh, you know, graph. So yeah, just not to make this video too long. So th that was the big secret. Just copy the shape that you want and paste it onto the column that you're working with. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So, so thank you for watching this video. Thank you once again to all of my Patreons who are supporting me. Please check out the Patreon page if you'd like to know more information about it. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss my future amazing experiments on the possibilities of PowerPoint. And please, if you found this video useful, like it, share it and Leave some comments in the comment section below because I always like to respond to every single comment that I found in the comment section. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching and see you on the next video.